Alright. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for another episode of Farming Simulator 2015. Well, howdy farmer. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2015. Hey, I already said that. <laughs> Alright, anyway. Uh just wanted to show you just this little bit here. This is what we're working on today. We are planting corn. So now we have to buy the uh, corn header. I found out you can buy the small corn header for your starter uh, combine, your harvester here. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to test it out. Ooh, you even get to pick the color. So uh, what color do we want? I guess we'll do like a yellowish orange because it's kind of like what everything else is. So or that's what our harvester is. All right, where is it? Let's reset it. Uh, wrong button, wrong menu. <laughs> My bad, sorry about that. Too many menus, there it is. All right, so uh, we'll reset the tool, bring it here to the farm. We won't go pick it up yet, because he's still in the middle of working over there. We are planting corn, so we're branching off into the corn, so now we got four crops we're working with, finally. Had to skip ahead. Oh yeah, in the middle of uh, fast forwarding the time here, I had to, yeah, you can see the time's still going fast. I had to show you this. We were uh, showing all the uh, different types of weather. Look at all this fog. Look how eerie the sky looks. So I was going to jump ahead up until the, uh, point where we were about to harvest the corn but I just wanted to show you that real quick and now this is our first crop of corn I wanted to show you the graphics on this I was amazed this corn looks so lifelike you can see it swaying in the wind and everything I mean they did a real good job doing this <clears throat> hey look you can even see the little ears of corn <laughs> that's cool I give the creators of this some credit they did a great job making this game I mean that looks real makes you want to reach out and grab one corn on the cob is just awesome all right well uh, we'll circle around okay and now back to work <laughs> now that we wasted three minutes already <laughs> Uh, anyway, I want to <laughs> thank everybody for support the series so far. You guys have been great, leaving all the comments. Even use select few that come through with a few questions. You know, I try to answer them. Like er earlier, we had another question come through about where the silos are. You can see them right back there in the distance. Those two towers right there, or one big tower with a couple of lumps on the sides. That's your silo right there. But I'll do a little demonstration of that in a minute. I just want to see how this uh, harvester works. Now, Farming Simulator 2013 on the uh, Xbox 360, every time you did like a, 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 yield, a yield of corn, I think that's what it's called. Yep, see? They always miss them. That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> Every time you did our, our uh, field of corn there, and you uh, set the workers to automatic, they always miss them. Hey, buddy, you missed a spot. You could fire them. Shoulda, coulda, woulda. Man, I can't believe he missed that spot. Wonder if he's gonna miss them down here. Cost me money by missing some. We're playing on normal. We don't have that bonus cash from playing on easy here. All right, let's get all this stuff ready. Wow. There was a lot of cycling through. That's pretty cool. All the dried corn. Give me quick corn and I don't care. 
<laughs> I don't know, that just popped into my head. <laughs> uh, bear with me, I think I had too much sugar today. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, well, apparently we don't get a lot. Well, I mean, it's a decent amount, but... So far, out of the four crops we've planted, wheat seems to be like the overabundance. Just with these two fields here, we get three, three and a half trailers of wheat. We only get like one to two, barely two trailer fulls of barley and canola. We barely get one and a quarter or one and a smidge. And now corn, I don't know, we'll have to calculate it and see. Doesn't seem like it's going to yield that much, but we'll see. Alright, let's get you going. Should we move you up now? I don't know. Let's see if this uh plow guy hurries up so we can get this one lined up and get this one going. Come on, buddy. You're holding up the process here. And yeah, we're gonna have to make another empty. So we'll give them time to get caught up. Wow. That harvester seems to be going awful slow. If people are having trouble with, uh... What is that called? The, uh driving system there, your auto drive, I guess you'd call it. I figured out you have to hold the left and right bumper and press X to initiate it. But, the only problem with this one is you have to hold left and right bumper and you have to hold X to pick your speed too. It cycles through different speeds. I can't believe I forgot what that was called. <laughs> yeah. It's been a long day already. If people are wondering why I uh, edit and upload these videos at different times during the day, it's because my brother in law is currently uh, living with me. Some days he works, some days he don't. And like today, he's off, but he uh, went out for a little while, so I'm trying to get this one edited and uploaded as quickly as possible in the middle of the day here for you. So if you're waiting on the episodes, I apologize. But if you're uh, if you're behind on the episodes, watch them. <laughs> uh, that's why I'm cramming them all into a playlist, so if you ever get bored, you know, just click on the playlist. You can either cycle to the video you want or just watch them all. Although some of these videos, like today, we're going to try to do like a 24 minute video, so. Um, I hope everybody didn't have a problem with the golden coin episode, that little uh, special I did yesterday. All it was was you, you, you find 10 gold coins and then uh, it shows you, it pretty much gives you the location of all the rest of them. So we only made 4,000 off that. Wow. And this was the highest paying place here. Alright, well we got a little money, so let's drive down here. Pay off our loan, or pay $10,000 more on our loan. I guess that's, you want to pay it that way. Yeah, I felt kind of bad in the other episode because the last few episodes I've just been saying like howdy and uh, welcome gentlemen and I found out earlier today that there's actually female viewers so I apologize to all you ladies out there. 
That's why I said ladies and gentlemen in this episode. I was going to say ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, but that was just too long. I had like this whole like <laughs> four minute opening I wanted to do, uh, but I couldn't stop laughing, so. <laughs> <clears throat> I hope everybody's enjoying these videos. <laughs> uh, yes, I am a bit crazy. <laughs> I love that one comment, though. With me fighting with that tree. <laughs> Somebody left a comment that said, Man versus tree. And I said, yeah. And the tree won. <laughs> <clears throat> That money cheat's good for some people, but like I, like I said in that episode, we're just not gonna do it. So, come on, let's get over here. Jeez, just take it forever. I don't know, wonder why. That's what I was talking about. Drive to a gas station. Did we get any? Yeah. Doesn't look like it took effect that time. Was I going too fast? I don't know. All right, here's the ATM machine. Anyway, let's get back over yonder here. Yanda. All right. Oh my God. We still have a hundred thousand, a hundred ten thousand. Pay off ten thousand this time, so we're down to a hundred thousand dollar loan. Wow. We we gotta work on this. We gotta get this loan paid off, so that way we can start affording the equipment we need. But here we go. Here's a little special for you. I know the last few episodes have been special episodes, but here's another one. Hey. Why, why are you turning it off? Oh, I'm too close. That's kind of weird. You press, you gotta press and hold right bumper to turn, or to use the uh, sprayer here, but you press right bumper to turn the system on and off. Is it actually cleaning these things? I don't see it making a difference, do you? Oh, I guess it did clean them. That's pretty cool. It's car wash day. Or oh, check the wash. Hey, it even cleaned the rims. That's pretty cool. Look how dirty this one is. I wanted to test this out. I seen a video on YouTube where the guy was messing around with one of these. It actually looked pretty cool. Oh. We're at the end of the hose. We can't go any further. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear you. <clears throat> hey, you're still dirty. Why are you not cleaning? Wow, it takes a long time to spray one of these babies down. Look at that, it's still dirty. I mean, am I too far away? Am I too close? The other one got cleaned right away. Why is this one taking forever? seems the further you step back, the more of a spray. It's got the wider the spray goes, so maybe that's what it was. Oh, it looks a little bit cleaner now. Alright, so let's go over to this one. Clean, 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 clean. <laughs> Hey, get that mud off. That mud's just like glued to it. Oh, there we go. It's clean! I can see clearly now, my face is not paint. <laughs> no, that just didn't make any sense. <clears throat> I guess you should have said reflection in the window.
this one seems to be clean right oh uh, no well, let's look at kind of a little bit of mud on it you say this one looked like it cleaned up right away oh well, yeah actually it did look at that it's already clean that's just weird one of them took like 10 minutes and the other one took like two seconds Spray up the trailer back there can we reach you i don't know i can't tell it's starting to get dark it should have this in the morning wow look how shiny those rims are <laughs> Spray the inside out. <laughs> Stick the hose through the side of the trailer. <laughs> uh, now the harvester, the columbine. There's no reason technically why that one actually... Well, I guess it does kick up a lot of dust. Can we clean the blades? Is the question of the hour. This is a big machine. And this is the smallest one. I can't wait until we get the money to buy the bigger ones. As soon as we get the bigger ones, we can start buying bigger field or more fields. That way we can uh, harvest quicker, you know. That way we'll really start racking out some money. Yeah, the blades look like they got clean. Sweet. Trailer. We're done. Alright, well, I guess everything's clean. Let's get all these bit boys moved over. We cleaned all our equipment. Yeah, we could turn that off now, the automatic help. Alright, for the lady that was asking about the silo here. It's right here. This is your silo. That's where you fill your uh, stuff up. Had a comment, somebody was asking where the silos were. Alright, get you lined back up. Oh no, we didn't get the grader. Well, technically, it, it should be called like a plow because you're plowing in the fields, but I mean. It, it's kind of a grader, so... I don't know. Because why would you say plowing the fields if you're grading the fields? Mine's one note. Oh my god, I can't believe we're on 18 minutes already. <laughs> Sorry that took so long. I just wanted to do a little uh, special there. I wanted to test the pressure washer out and see if these vehicles actually get clean. They were kind of dirty. They were grungy. The grungy look. Now they're all shiny and new again, even though we're driving through dust right there. That's a little weird. Wow, that sprayer is full. Popping wheelies. I can't believe how clean it actually makes them. That is pretty cool that they uh, integrated that into this uh, 2015 version here. Alright, now for the silo. You dump your items off here. To store in your silos. I said I was going to include it for you, and this is where you come over here, and you got the little pipe that sticks out. You just pull up under here, you press your right bumper there, and you pick your uh, grain that you want to fill up. And you can fill your trailers up there, and there's your sweet potatoes and uh, potatoes, or sweet sweet beets and potatoes. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> uh, and wood chips are around front. You need a front loader to uh, scoop them up and put them in your trailer. Alright, I did say I was going to include it in the episode for you, so there you go. For anyone wondering where your uh, extra 200,000 crops are, they're in, your, they're in your silos and your storage bins right there. Now the question is, now that we have all that extra, um, should we sell it all off? Well, I guess that answers my question. Sugar beets. So here we go. We're going to go... Uh, 
sell off a load of sugar beets now that we have 200,000 of them sitting there. Alright, is that all set correctly? Yes, okay. Great demand for sugar beets, so let's see how much money we can get out of these. I don't know. I don't know how many trailer loads we want to do. Maybe we'll just do a couple for now. You know, I don't want to sell it all off right off the bat. Although that would be the money we need. So, sugar beets. You are. That's potatoes. The first one. So sugar beets is the second one over here. And then that third, third section. If you go around front, if you have a front loader, you can scoop up your uh, wood chips. We'll get into making wood chips and storing them there and stuff too so we'll get into all that soon right now we're still trying to pay off this uh hundred thousand dollars we still owe so the great demand is down here where we sold the corn earlier I think it was the transport company. I think that's what it said it was. But either way, just look for your blinking dot. And since we uh, came down here to sell our corn earlier... Oh! <laughs> Wipe out! That's really slung around. That was cool. Come on, get me off the tree. Hey, waste of time here. Get off the tree. Now we'll go up and around the tree. That trail turned sideways and just like slingshot it is into the tree. That was that was cool. It actually has like a weight differential. The weight of the uh, sugar beets there just pulled the whole thing sideways. It spun us around. That was pretty cool. I mean, if you're just driving around the track, you could just go jumping hills and stuff. Oh, and everybody wondering about about the uh, multiplayer there? We have to get a time. Multiplayer is up to six extra people, so we have to pick a time where, like, we're going to have at least three people on, minimal three people, where we can play for a little while. Because, I mean, I can't just play multiplayer with one person, and then, like, an hour or two later, that person's already off, and then somebody else wants to play, and then I can't, I can't load it up and just play with that person for a few hours. Because, I mean, I've gotten, like, ten messages for people that want to play multiplayer, but all at different times. We need to try to calculate a time where we can all play multiplayer together. I'm not going to play multiplayer with just one person here and there and have to sit on it all day because people want to randomly get on at different times of day. We have to calculate a time. We'll talk about that in the next episode. Alright, so yeah, we're buying some chickens to end this episode. We need a few more. <coughs> so let's jump over the fence here and let's check our chickens. But sorry about the multiplayer, everybody. I mean, we're, we're trying to calculate it. We're trying to figure out some way to pull this off. We gotta discuss it a little more, though. Alright, it doesn't look like they ate it anymore, so... Um, how many chickens do we have? We have 12 in there now. It doesn't look like there's 12 there. Alright. Now, let's scroll over. We have 15 hours and 4 minutes into this game. Time played this episode is 1 hour and 33 minutes. So yes, I put in some work for you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Well, this video is over, so... Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next episode.